I need to watch both of these, so I need to watch this one and this one. But for today, we're just going to be doing 105. Um, people told me it was really good. I should watch it, so that's what we're going to be doing. And, uh, yeah, let's just uh, click on it. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and turn it up. And let's check out. Let's see SCP-105 Iris. Saw the new Game 2 video? Not yet. I'll probably do it later. Cozy, don't die. Why would you type that? Why are you still here? Ain't you taking medical leave after getting your shit rocked? Yeah, I remember what happened to you last time. Hold up, shorty. Hold up, shorty. You not slick. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I ain't... Nah, 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 nah. Hey, SCP fans. Make I remember. I remember. That's crazy. That's crazy. It's crazy. We're ready for you now. Hey, SCPers! Gustav recently got me hooked on this new game, and I want to share it with you. It's called Raid Shadow Legends. Raid is a seriously tough game. It's got 10 dungeons full of depth, each with a unique and challenging boss. That yo, yo, Alan, I'm, I'm gonna need you to explain why you typed that, bro. You know what I mean? What is that random text, bro? I'm about to get on your head in a second, bro. I'm gonna need you to explain that. I don't know, bro. I'm tired of telling you this, Cozy. Get off her. Tell her to get off of the, the SCPs. Tell us some more. They don't have names. They only have designations. Face us. We're ready for you now. <sighs> Just a moment. Oh, that's what you meant by Cozy Don't Die. Okay, all right. Today we Oh, I just peeped. Yo, this one is colored again. Yo, the boost in, in production. Ah. Be conducting an evaluation of your mental state with a simple series of questions. We need you to recall the events that led to your containment. So, no experiments? No. We've already learned much about your ability to manipulate photographs. Can you summarize the extent of your powers and when you became aware of them, for the record? Sure. I think I was 10 or 11. I remember because I was looking at a picture of the ocean and when I touched it, the waves started moving. Mm. And how did your parents respond when you told them? They said I had an overactive imagination. When did you discover that you were able to manipulate objects through a photograph? It was uh, after my family took a trip to the Grand Canyon. I looked through the photo album when we got home and brushed my hand against a photo of us standing at the edge. And when I did, I pushed a rock into the canyon. I could actually hear it clatter on the way down. Go on. I so does she actually teleport to these locations? Wait, let me just let it explain. We became fascinated with photography after that. Most of the time it didn't work with the photographs I took, but my parents got me a Polaroid One Step Express camera. I'd been begging for them to get it since Christmas. After I got the camera, the photos were, well, you know, like easier to interact with. This is the camera we refer to as 105B, your personal camera. Yes, ma'am. How many photos can you focus on at one time? I've gotten up to 10 at once with my personal camera, but I'm sure I could do more eventually. Okay, I think that's a pretty good summary of your abilities. Um, now, could you tell us about the incident that occurred on October 6th, 2016? The one that caused us to contact you? Sure. Honestly, the day itself was kind of a blur. I remember the aftermath better. Everything was just so normal. Okay. I went to work. I got lunch at my favorite cafe. I don't remember what I ate. Probably a panini or something. They made a really good tomato and mozzarella. <sighs> I miss those. Less extraneous details, please. Right. Sorry. <laughs> and see, that's why Dr. Bug began came at, bro. And this is why I'm going to throw you right back in that cell with that SCP that was having you horrified, trauma-filled, and crying. Because you got to say stuff like that. Let her tell her story. You ask her a question, let her answer. What's wrong with you? 
Anyway, I went home. I'd been texting my boyfriend about what movie we were going to see on Friday, so maybe that's why I looked at a photograph of us. Um, I picked it up, touched it. The image flickered, as I expected it to, but this time, what I, what I saw... There was a man standing over him with a gun, threatening him. It felt like I was right there in the room, but, but I couldn't do anything because... You can only manipulate objects if they're within reach, right? Exactly, but oh, he, was, he was so close, I, I could almost touch him. I watched him bleeding out on the floor a few feet in front of me. And you know, all, all I could think was, why didn't I take the photo a little to the left? Why can't I stretch my arm just one more inch, huh? As though I'd be able to knock out the attacker or distract him or something. <laughs> so, um... I snapped out of it, called the police. I drove to his place as quickly as I could, but by the time I got there, well, you know, it's already gone. All I could think was, you're never going to see that movie. In fact, you'll never see another movie ever again. I ain't gonna cap that. That's a villain origin story right there. It's probably been mad long. That's probably why y'all talking about something like, oh... Yeah, she's taking it too well. It's probably because it's been that long. But yeah, bro, I... Yeah, wow. I've, I've come to terms with the fact that I couldn't have done anything, but sometimes I still... Thank you, Dr. Buck. Show some sympathy. Show some compassion. Damn, show you about time. I like those. I wonder. Because in, in reality, she really soft as hell. Soft ass. What the fuck are you talking about? Stop acting so hard all the goddamn time. Show some love. Show some compassion. 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 <laughs> Yo. Uh, <clears throat> I need a moment. Dr. Collingwood, continue the questionnaire. Thank you, bro. Character development a thousand. Yo, why does character development better than God of High School? Character development better than almost every anime on God, bro. Let's go. Enos, now this your girl. That girl before, I don't know what that monster was. But this right here, this this is the one. Is she okay? Dr. Buck is resilient. Last thing she wants is anyone worrying about her. <clears throat> In any case, I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> Start laughing at no, her. No, I'm sorry. Uh, I know you mean well. It's just, uh, well, that's what everyone said. Even the people who would later testify against me. Right, the trial. Could you tell me more about that? I was called as a witness in the murder trial. When the police came, they found me crouched next to him, so it was very obvious that I had been at the scene of the crime. I told them I was on the phone with David at the time of the murder, so I hurried to his side. But they caught you in the lie, right? Right. They checked the phone records, and suddenly I went from the grieving girlfriend to the prime suspect. Quickly running out of options, I did the only thing I could. I told my lawyer the truth. You mean about how you saw him through a photograph? The power of the camera? Everything? Yes. He didn't take me seriously, though. So I went over his head and told the court. That's when they said I was hysterical. They probed my psychiatric records, tore apart every relationship I had ever been in, looked for anything that could prove I was unstable enough to do something horrible. See, in the end, it was easier to believe that I had a psychotic break and killed my boyfriend than it was to believe I had a magic camera. Even when I offered to demonstrate how it works. That's when... The Foundation contacted me. Yep. What is your impression of the Foundation so far? And please, answer honestly. We don't take offense at these things. Uh, it's sort of like New Prison, New Warden. But I know it's better than what could have happened to me. Well, you've been very cooperative during your time here. I'm a pretty well-behaved person, despite what the court tried to say about me. <laughs> I also like doing experiments with the photographs I've taken. Some of the things you guys have had me do, I, I phew, never would have thought of that on my own. Do you know why I'm asking you these questions, Iris? Nuh-uh, ma'am. Well, we're setting up a special program. One that will let you perform missions outside of the facility. You mean... I I could leave? Just get out of this room. See the world. Well, there are papers to sign and corporate hoops to jump through and training you need to complete. But yes, it's possible. I, 
never imagined. I, I thought I would be stuck here forever. Can I take pictures again? Plenty. If everything goes according to plan. Well, that's the end of the pop quiz. So wait, or does that mean we're about to get eight? We're about to get nine. We're about to get like Abel and shit, and that's gonna be a whole storyline. Yo, tell the foundation five. She uh, do you have any other questions fire. for me? Hold up, five. Mimi's cafe. Panini. I'll look into it. Thank you, Iris. So, do you want to talk about something? No, definitely not. Okay. Well. If you need a break or some time off work... I need nothing of the sort. Don't patronize me. Okay, okay. Sorry. Just saying. After our last interview, it was super weird when you showed up the next day like nothing happened. How do you expect me to act? Was I supposed to be crying and shaking all day, unable to do my job? I'm not a child. Oh, Jesus, Buck. That's not what I'm saying at all. Look, I don't know what you're going through or why you had to run out of that room just now, but everyone has their demons. If you don't want to talk to me about them, that's fine. But you need to talk to someone. You would think that after years of dealing with all manner of world-ending anomalies, they wouldn't bother me anymore. They scare everyone, Buck. Including me. I don't know if this means anything to you, but my opinion of you hasn't changed. Your flattery is unnecessary. Do keep such opinions to yourself. Do you want to get coffee sometime? Coffee? Yeah, coffee. You know, the brown caffeinated liquid that people drink in the morning. It's made from beans. Yes, I know what coffee is, Collingwood. Why do you want to get it? I just realized that I don't know anything about you. We never talk outside of work, and aren't personal relationships supposed to foster healthy working ones? Or something? I'll consider it. But only if it gets you to stop ranting about my inner demons during work hours. Deal. You know, I could just threaten to report that you ditched an interview if you don't go. But I won't, because I'm a good person. You're welcome. Shun it. Sheesh! Okay, okay. This story. This story. They got something, bro. They, they, Newscape really has something. They have something, and if they, if they really, you said, why I look so mad? I was really immersed. I was immersed. They have something. See, listen, let me tell y'all something. I used to write stories and stuff like that. And listen, they're they're laying the groundwork for something big. They have the potential, bro. They could really make like... A, bro, like, if they come out with like a 50-minute special... Oh, my God. The Dr. Buck 50-minute special. Who not watching that shit? Or, or or if they do like the, the Epsilon, whatever the fuck, the Able and... and bro, yo, I'm telling y'all, it's possible for Taylor Found... They could really do something, bro. They really do something, bro. They could really do something. Yo, they could really do something.